Today we have a 2018 Maserati Quattroporte S. We'll be replacing the cabin filter, air filter, doing oil change here. So as you see where the air filters are located right there, the cabin filter will be located right here in this little latch. So we'll open that up and then we'll just pull that forward and pull the cabin filter out here. And just keep in mind the direction so air flows that way towards the window or the windshield, sorry. And we'll go ahead and throw our new one in there. I might blow that out a little bit or vacuum that out a little bit as well. And then pretty much we're going to just slide the new one in, close it up, and we'll get to the air filters. So after we've done the cabin filter, we're going to go over here and do the air filters here. Uh, so pretty much one thing I did do is open this clip here and get the uh, little hose here for the expansion tank out the way. You see there's a tab back here, one here, and one here. So we're going to go ahead and pop those off. Uh, let me see this one. Let's send here. I think there is one right here as well. But we're going to go ahead and pop all those off and just kind of lift it up instead of removing the whole thing. We might be able to just even slide this off and just kind of pick it up. So when you get that out, I'll give you all a view of how it's going to look. So I've popped those three tabs off. All we're going to do is kind of lift up gently and pull forward. So there was not a tab here. However, it is where it latches. So just keep that in mind when you're putting it back in. Latch that in. Uh, slide in here, latch it in there, then pop these on. So I'm just going to pull this out. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum all that crud out. And we're going to replace this. Okay guys, so I went ahead and just closed this side up, put the hose back on, locked everything in. So we're gonna come over to this side now. Basically the exact same process, just pop all this off. And then lift it up. Gently slide it over, or you can just leave it like this and just slide it out the air filter. And I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna vacuum all that out again and put the new one in. Okay guys, so I have this in, uh, basically the same exact way as this way. I actually got to go back and um, fix this here. So on this side, I actually noticed that there's this little plastic piece. I uh, can't really see it on camera, but it's got to go under this here. And it basically sit flush when it's like this. So I got to go back and take care of that. But for the most part, it's how you do the air filter. Um, yeah, I'm going to clean this up for this guy here, but let's go ahead and lift the vehicle up and do an oil change. So real quick, I'm going to show you that little plastic piece and pull this out um, right there on top. You see those two or top and bottom, you see those? So pretty much you got to get those. Uh, I need both my hands for this, but um, we're going to get those pretty much this piece sitting in between those two. Oh, sorry, not in view. This here sitting in between those two. So uh, and then we can latch it all down like how this side sits evenly flush. So I'm going to go and fix that real quick and then we'll get to that oil change. So before we lift up the vehicle and drain the oil, I'm going to go ahead and remove the oil filter, which they put in a ridiculous location. So it's going to be right there next to the expansion tank with the number 27 um, socket here. And I also went ahead and removed this to the side again like I did earlier. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and get that out the way and then we're going to lift her up and drain the tank. Alright, so now we're under the vehicle. So right here is the oil uh, pan. Drain plug is right here, number 10 Allen. And we're gonna go ahead and let that drain out. It's also a dumb location for that. It's gonna get all over this, but whatever, I guess. So let's go ahead and drain that out and get a new drain plug gasket. All right, guys, so I went ahead and reinstalled the drain plug, the new drain plug gasket, as well as a new oil filter with the oil O-ring. And then we just add seven and a half quarts, and that's it. So I'm just gonna reset the maintenance light. Uh, a lot of y'all won't be able to because Maserati's weird, get to use a special program, but for the most part, that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, more videos to come.